Dr. Bill Bakke, sir, how are you? I'm doing fine, how are you doing? Oh, just fantastic. So what are you doing here tonight? Well, I'm taking a look at the pollsters and seeing all the exciting things that are going on in planetary science here at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference. Is it exciting or are you just saying that? I love this. I love my job. I love being here. I love everything I see. So tell me what your job is. My job is I'm uh, the director of the Center for um, uh, Lunar Origin and Evolution at Boulder, Colorado. I'm also the assistant director of Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado. And I'm also a scientist beyond all that. So I get to do science and I get to do manage a lunar institute. Well, th that sounds impressive. H how does one become all of that? Um, you don't sleep and you write a lot of paper. You write a lot of paper? I'm sorry, I should say that no one, well, let's see. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be more interesting. Um, basically, if you really enjoy what you do and you enjoy different topics, then what you do is you do the science from those topics. You, uh, if you get excited enough, you continue to do more. And eventually you reach a point where you think, I'm really, really enjoying this. One of the reasons I'm running a Lunar Institute is because I'm really excited by the possibility of going back to the moon and really using the moon to understand some of the secrets of the solar system. And I think we're really in a position to be able to do some of that. So that's why I'm running a Lunar Institute, because I'm excited about the science possibilities for learning about our solar system. Uh, so you're excited about the moon. Would you say the moon is your favorite planet? Um, I have many favorite planets. I enjoy the moon very much. I also enjoy asteroids. I enjoy objects throughout the solar system. I don't think I have a favorite. I enjoy everything. So, so, you, so you would say that the moon is a planet? I, it's an interesting world, perhaps, is a better way to put it. Um, there's, depending on the definition you use, there's eight planets, but there are many, many interesting worlds, and I find that a more interesting definition. That is interesting. That is interesting. So I got one more question for you. Okay. Uh, if the moon were made of cheese, which I'm pretty sure it's not, from what I understand, but if it were, uh, what kind would it be? <laughs> Let's say brie cheese, because I like brie. Just because you like brie? Yes. Any scientific reasoning behind that? Well, brie is a little bit squishy in the inside, and it's got a solid crust. And at, at least at one point, the moon may have been very much like that. So... Let's say the Brie tells us a little bit about the early origin or the early evolution of the moon. Oh, very good. I'll buy it. Thank you. Thank you.